it, it, it was a lot better than what we expected. Put it that way. Turned out to be. Uh, it's turned out to be so far uh, an average year again. I think. Because I we had some we had some peas in uh, on our dryer land that honestly I th I thought would do 25 bushel an acre. And until we got into them, they did double that. Well, not quite double, but uh, 40, 40 plus. So that was a, that was a pleasant surprise. Um, but uh, yeah, I know it turned out a lot better than uh, than what it looked like at the start of the year. That's for sure. You know why? In the end, it's you know it's a lot of a lot of hard work, and if we can be at the block at the end of the year, that's that's a good thing. It's a crazy pressure. I mean, it's it's all the it's all roll the dice. Whether you know it's going to rain, and whether it's not going to hail, whether it's going the sun's going to shine, whether the crops are going to grow, and it's all based on market prices and you know what what like so yeah if you do everything right and you have the grain in the bin what are the prices doing now right like it's it's crazy amount of stress and i mean for me like i told you we do about 2800 acres i mean that's that's we're a hobby farm compared to day standards like yeah you want to talk about stress like it's yeah it's crazy and that's just like you have equipment payments land payments uh chemical inputs fertilizer fuel guys would have more fun taking like Five hundred thousand dollars of going to Vegas and letting her ride, you know, like honestly, that's what it is. It's a gamble. It is. You're every year. You don't know what it's gonna be, you know. And it's like it's crazy because every year is different. It is. It's, it's. We've had years where it's been, you know, crazy wet, and you know, you, the crop gets, you get uh, poor sample, and then you know, lots of yield, and then poor yield, and yeah, it's good quality about poor quantity you know like it's just there's so many different factors right i mean like i said we don't have our disagreements um i think the biggest thing is just uh working together right um you both have your inputs you don't have to agree on everything i mean that's that's life right not everybody's going to agree with every thing that's said but uh i think it, the biggest thing is just working together and you do get heated and i i mean this harvest me and my dad have had a few you know altercations where it's verbal and uh kind of squash it you know it's mm -hmm. He says his thing, I say mine, and we move on with life and get the work done, and everybody's happy in the end. I absolutely love it. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to do anything else. I do. I love, I love farming. I love the farm industry. I mean, I grew up with it. I mean, we live in Saskatchewan. I mean, that's that's our, you know, between other than potash and uh, the uranium, very like farming is number one. I love the freedom that it brings, right? Like it's you're out here and you're like. I mean, we can go for a drive after and just check it out. It's it's relaxing. It's calming. This is where my uh, my zen of my life comes in. My other life is so busy. It's like it's it's almost like a holiday coming out here.